हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट प्रोटेक्शन विच आर देयर इन तरबाइन प्राइमरली वी विल कवर कॉमन प्रोटेक्शन फॉर गैस टर्बाइन एंड स्टीम टर्बाइन एंड सम स्पेसिफिक प्रोटेक्शन विच आर एप्लीकेबल इन स्टीम टर्बाइन सो वी विल डिस्कस वॉट आर द डिफरेंट प्रोटेक्शन why they are provided and if we do not take care of those protections what damages it will cause to the machine right so fundamentally all about protections why it is given and what it is going to prevent for your machine so let us discuss about protections in gas turbine and steam turbine So friends, there are uh, n number of uh, protections uh, applicable, starting from over speed to uh, lube ball pressure, uh, lube ball temperature, vacuum, bearing tem uh, temperatures, bearing vibration, etc. So if I take all that in a video, it will not be possible or Uh, sensible to do that because uh, uh, there will be too much of information so i am going to create the video in different parts so right now what we will do we will take uh, this only in this scope of this video so we will consider only what are the different uh, causes when it ha may happen and how it will impact the machine so let us understand over speed protection So there are two types of uh, over speed protection. One is uh, known as uh, mechanical over speed, which is at uh, 110% of speed. That is, uh, I mean, if you are uh, your machine speed is 3000 RPM, then if you plus 10% again, so that is 300. so mechanical over speed will operate at 3300 rpm so this is mechanical over speed setting and there is another uh, 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 electrical over speed is also there which is 112% so similarly you can calculate the rpm according to uh, uh, your rated speed if it is 3000 so 112% of 3000 so this is a, a secondary protection i mean if your machine somehow couldn't trip on mechanical over speed then only this will come into picture right and uh, yes uh, it is like that only so this mechanical over speed nowadays is getting replaced many uh, uh, in many machine by electrical over speed only now new machines uh, you will not many on one of you will not find uh, mechanical over speed in new machines so older machines all, all uh, i mean you can find that in older machines only now it is getting replaced by electrical over speed because of uh, maybe non uh, reliable operation in some of cases but Uh, these machines are already uh, still in operation so let us understand how it uh, works the mechanical over speed so this is a lever which you can see uh, on many of machine this part will be only visible from outside this lever part and uh, if there is any tripping due to this over speed then you have to pull that lever in this side to reset that so that is what this arrow is saying this uh, over speed uh, mechanical over speed so how would it operates so you can see fuel cut out or fuel cut in so it may be fuel or it may be steam in case of steam turbine it may be steam in case of gas turbine it may be fuel so basically what does what it does that it uh, it kind of a uh, open up a trip oil drain basically so that your trip oil circuit is uh, 
uh, emptied out and uh, main stop uh, main stop valve closes ESV closes so that is how it uh, actuate and that that is connected after here so let us understand first what is this boundary and then after you can understand that this is going to trip uh, uh, your ESVs or in fact it will drain the triple circuit and uh, ESVs are hold against uh, that oil pressure only so if the oil is drained the trip uh, valves or ESVs are going to close in case of turbine ESV or in case of gas turbine uh, it uh, would close the fuel stop valve so if you see uh, there is a, this is a kind of a lever which is tightly holst against uh, spring tension so spring force is trying to push the, that in direction right so this is the spring which is pushing that lever when pushing that this thing in the uh, this direction constantly but this uh, this latch is holding that and uh, this is the arrangement when the machine is running and you have a bolt you have a bolt uh, which is mounted on a shaft i mean this is rotating rotating part this is rotating right so if you can consider that the machine is running at uh, rated rpm then rated rpm if it is running there will be some centrifugal force right there will be some centrifugal force which will apply on that uh, this particular bolt head but as the rpm increases as the rpm increases the centrifugal force on this particular bolt will increase do you agree so as the rpm will increase it will start rotating in a in a faster way so that centrifugal force will be acting in this way in this way wherever it this bolt goes it will start like this so it is designed that this bolt will pop up and hit this latch when that this is speed comes 3300 rpm in this example right so this is how this bolt is design, designed that it will if the 110 percent of the speed reaches it will hit that and if it will hit that then what will happen this uh, is a pivot for this latch and if it goes up this side then this side it goes down and if it goes down there is no one which will hold this uh, lever so this lever will go with this pressure of this spring and uh, it will open the drain port of trip all circuit we can see that in this uh, image that this bolt head has come out uh, due to high speed of rotating shaft so high speed induced what high centrifugal force so that uh, this uh, this bolt head or uh, nut heavy nut is uh, i mean uh, witnessing high centrifugal force which has overcome this force of this spring earlier the spring force was higher so this was not going out now it has come out and after coming out this will hit this latch and if uh, this latch has gone up uh, uh, so that uh, there is a pivot so this part will come down so this part has already come down in this image and now this particular lever has gone in this side uh, due to this spring tension so this spring tension is pushing that uh, lever in this direction and then this lever will be uh, going to drain that uh, trip all circuit in turn which will stop your uh, ESVs or uh, fuel uh, stop walls so this is how a uh, trip condition uh, will be uh, there and now let's say you want to restart the machine then what you have to do so you have to pull this 
lever or pull this handle to reset that what will happen if you pull that uh, in this right direction so this will this latch will come again on this side if you pull that uh, uh, these lever in the spring action i mean force against the spring action so again uh, your uh, uh, trip oil pressure can be built because this lever is here so your trip oil will not be drained uh, so you can build uh, the trip oil pressure and restart the machine so this is how the mechanical lower speed works and uh, we haven't spoken about the electrical lower speed because in this uh, uh, at 10 per 110 percent mechanical over speed work and 112 percent if this speed has not this uh, protection mechanical over speed protection has not been worked then only it will come in picture and it will directly go to your master protective uh, signal and it will uh, cause a uh, direct trip uh, uh, command so that is why this is basically going directly into control system nothing uh, happening physical so there will be a relay pickup uh, after 112 percent of signal sensing or speed signal sensing and it will directly go to control system master protective system for a trip signal so this is how mechanical and electrical over speeds are uh, system designed and works so this is one protection for uh, which is applicable in uh, uh, gas turbine and steam turbine so if you have any questions uh, please write it uh, the questions in comment box i will try to answer and if you have liked uh, this video please uh, subscribe or like the video thank you thank you very much